Welcome back to Caleb the Video Maker 2. So far, you've created tables, you've inserted data, you've selected data, but how do you actually go about updating data? For example, what if this Caleb Curry here wants to change his email address? How do we go about doing that in SQL? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We use an update statement. So the syntax is easy. You just put the column name, and then generally on the next line, you say set the column name equal to some value. And let me just scroll down a little bit so we can see a little better. And here is where we type the new value for the email. So we could say new email at email.com. Now, before you run this, please, 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 please be careful, okay? If you run this, there's like a 50% chance you'll get fired because <laughs> this will literally update every single email address in the entire table. So you always have to do one more thing, and that is use a where clause. So now we specify which rows we want to update and we have to do some kind of comparison so we can do something like where email equals oh and also these should probably be in single quotes and say caleb at email.com so what this is going to do is update the person who has the email caleb at email.com so let's run this and make sure it works put semicolon and it ran so now we can select everything from users check the results and the email is now new email at email.com. So it worked. Great. We could use this to our advantage to fill in some of this null data. Let's say we wanted to give Dylan an email. We might write something like this. Update users set email equal to Dylan at email.com. But how do we go about actually deciding which row? Well, he doesn't have an email, so we can't do this. So you might think, hmm, let's use his first name. So we'd say where first name equals Dylan. This will work for now, but this has a very serious problem in that in the future we might have multiple Dylans. And even if you made this where clause more complex to say, oh, where the first name is Dylan and the last name is Johnson, well, we could have multiple Dylan Johnsons. So this is why the primary key is so essential. Instead of using this where clause for the first or last name, we can use the user ID. So what we could say is where user ID equals four. So when we're doing an update statement and we're just doing it on one row, we always want to use the primary key or a unique column. So we can be very specific about what row we're trying to update. Let's run this, make sure it works. Okay, it ran successfully. Now let's select from the table. And now Dylan has an email. Awesome, Dylan, now you fit in. How does it feel? And that is a general summary of the update statement. I know it's super simple, but that's always a great thing, right? So one thing I wanted to mention to you is the term data manipulation language. And that is what we've been focusing on these last couple videos with the insert, select, and update. But there is one more piece that we need to cover, and that is the delete. This is how we get rid of data inside of a table. That's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. So thank you guys. Be sure to subscribe, check the description, click like, all that good stuff. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.